morning, y'all. I'm out here driving on this solid ice. My drive is taken. Oh my God, it's over. It's gonna be over two hours eventually. I think. I don't know. This road right here is going a little better than what I thought it would. Um, I've already been driving for over an hour. It usually takes me um, about 45 minutes to get to work. Um, but with this ice, it's taken forever. So, um, yeah. It is solid ice out here. It's cold. And, uh, but I have to go to work. I don't have a choice, so. Here I am, sliding on the road. But I have four-wheel drive, my van. Um, it's the only van I've ever owned that's had four-wheel drive, but yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, it's still really good. I mean, it's ice, but, um, it's handling, handling really well. So, I like making videos when I ride. Um, ever since my dad passed, um, I have really bad anxiety when I'm alone. It wasn't like that before. So, um, I don't do good when I'm alone. Um, and since it's early, um, I usually, when I'm alone, I'll call, um, my husband or my daughter, Courtney, or Skylar, because if I talk to somebody, I'm okay. But, um, of course, it's early here. So, when it's early, I just make a video, because even though I'm just talking to myself, it calms my anxiety so that's why y'all get your videos while I'm riding that's why most of my videos are made while I'm riding because it calms me down so that's why y'all get my car riding videos but yeah losing my dad um hit me hard um I have uh, gaps in time um, I have actually a really large gap in time. Um, I have three years that um, I don't remember. Um, his funeral. I remember bits and pieces of his funeral. I just remember it in kind of a blur. Um, I do remember our family friend that talked. Um, I do know he talked, um, it was my sister-in-law, my brother's wife's dad, and I've known him since I was a little kid, great man, he passed a couple years ago, a um, wonderful, wonderful Christian man, um, my dad didn't go to church, he believed in God, but he, um, believed that you didn't have to go to church as long as you believed, and my dad couldn't read really well, but he knew the Bible, like, he could tell you parts of the Bible that I didn't even know when I read the Bible, um, but, this man knew my dad, and so my dad didn't have a preacher, so Mr. Bob Johnson agreed to uh, do my dad's funeral, and he talked about my dad in the most loving, caring way, and that is really the only part of my dad's funeral that I remember, um, and I don't think you guys realize how special it is that, um, I can actually talk about my dad. This is, um, the last few months is um <clears throat> the first time I've been able to talk about my dad since he passed um without completely losing it um normally I end up sobbing so bad that I can't talk but I want to honor him and I want to talk about him and I want to tell stories about him um it's just been completely devastating to me. Um, my whole world changed losing my dad. And um, I changed. I am not the same person. Um, I feel bad because my daughter, my 15 year old, um, asked me all the time. Um, or had asked me all the time. Are you happy? I buried my smile with my dad. I did. I buried 
sharing my smile with my dad um, because I lost a huge part of me. Um, and I feel so bad because the majority of their life, I didn't smile. And I love my children. Oh my God, I, I love my kids. I, I literally would die for them. Any, all seven of them would literally give my last breath. I would kill for them. Any parent who <laughs> says they wouldn't kill for their kids, I'm, I don't understand because I would literally kill for my kids. I would die for them. I would give my last breath. Um, and I hate that she feels I'm not happy because I am. Um, I just was stuck. Um, couldn't talk about him. I thought about him every day. I cry over him every day. Um, but the past couple months has got better. Um, my anxiety. I finally um, got a hold of it a little bit. Um, and it's helped me. Um, I can smile a little more now. Um, and it's not that I wasn't happy. I just had so much, not guilt, but I felt guilty for a living, if that makes sense. Um, I felt like he should be here to see everything that I'm getting to see, you know. Um, my kids grow, you know. My big kids as adults, my little kids growing up, you know. He should be here with my mom. Um, he should get to meet my husband. Um, Billy's having a baby. He should be here. You know, Ryan's success. He should see that. Um, and why do I get to see it? He doesn't. And it just was a weight on my shoulders that I was carrying every day. And... I just gotta realize that he is here. He, he sees it with me. And, um, it's been a struggle. <clears throat> but anyway, my anxiety is why I make these videos. And I don't want sympathy because that's my struggle. That's no one else's. But, so, I'll keep making my writing videos until I get to where I'm okay being alone and writing alone and getting better. I can say his name without crying now, but it's still tough, you know. It's been it's been quite a few years, but it still feels like yesterday. I don't think, you know, when you lose um, the center of your world, and he was, he was the center of mine and my kids' world. Um, everything just falls apart. It just falls apart. You know, I leaned on him. I could talk to him. He was like the ultimate dad, so. But anyway, uh, headed to work in the snow, this winter wonderland. Y'all can see it out that window. It's complete ice snow. We ended up getting around eight inches. Um, yeah good times slipping and sliding out here I hope all you are safe and stay warm and that's my you know all in my feels this morning like I said when I'm alone my mind just everything in the world goes through it but this Saturday you get to find out what my grandbaby is get to find out girl or boy and I don't care if there's 10 feet of snow on the ground I will walk my happy ass over there to Billy and Scholars see what that baby is I don't care what it is boy or girl I'm gonna love it up I can care less whether it's a boy or a girl I'm just ready I'm so ready so excited.
ready for the gender reveal, ready to know what it's going to be named, ready to get it out of there, ready for Gigi's baby. So excited. Ready to see my son be a dad, ready to see Skylar be a mom. They're so excited. It's been a long time coming. Everything's good so far. I think everything's going to be just fine. I do. I think it's going to be great. I love watching her go through all the symptoms. I know the morning sickness was tough on her, but I loved it because it just was part of the experience, you know. And she's having cravings, and it's just, I love it. I love that she's finally getting to go through all that. I love it. But anyway, I'm almost to work, so... It didn't take as long as I thought it was. thought this road would be a lot harder to get down. But you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will maybe talk to you guys later. I'll get on here and see what's going on. Had some fun in AD's live. Getting on the turkey's nerve this morning. But it is what it is. He deserves everything he gets. But you guys stay safe. The roads are definitely icy, so don't think that they're not this morning. Tennessee definitely got hit. But as long as you're safe, you'll be safe. So, love you guys. Have a great day.